Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we're playing the mysterious case of um, Kita, Kita something. You know what I'm saying? It's a long title for a game. The game shouldn't have been that damn. The title should case of the mysterious death of Kiko Hadera, something like that. So yeah, I just want to go ahead and do all this stuff. They ain't got no kind of settings for volume. Retarded. How you got all this stuff in here that look like math class, but you ain't got settings for volume? Graphic settings? Anyway, this is this. I think this is gonna be like a 45 minute game. The video you're about to see was recorded on a videotape addressed to the bereaved family of the mysterious death of Kiko Herrera from an unknown sender. Hopefully, I'm saying that last name right. You know what I'm saying? Herrera. You gotta say it with the tongue when you're talking like Japanese stuff. I want to go to Japan one day. I want to learn the language of Japanese. This case has already been closed by the I hate the way this game make me sound in my headphones. It's real retarded. It's like some kind of some kind of muffling sound going on. Hopefully it stopped when we get in the game. However, the family's not satisfied with the results of the police investigation. And no family is. Because police don't be doing shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And has decided to release this video in order to gather clues to the case. Not saying police don't do anything, but sometimes they don't do shit, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and, and I really don't even know if this is going to be a horror game or not. It was in the horror section. Before you watch the video, let me give you an overview of the case of the mysterious death of Kiko Hededa. Japan, September 12th, 1999, at 8 p.m. P. <laughs> 8 p.m. p.m. <laughs> 8 double p.m. Miss Kiko Hededa collapsed in her room and was found dead. Go on. The first person to, discuss the, to discover the incident was the apartment's landlord. Early in the day, many residents of the apartment reported hearing the sound of breaking glass so the, i wish i wish you could kind of fast forward this make it all pop up on the screen i hate this slow that was always a pet peeve of my dealer with slow dialogue going across the screen and i gotta i gotta sit here and read it like i don't know what i'm reading so the landlord checked the exterior of the building and found that the window glass in kiko's room was heavily broken the landlord became suspicious and pressed the intercom in miss kiko's room however there was no response in other words, she a ghost. After dark, the landlord went to take another look around and found that the glass was still broken. Since there was no response to the intercom and no one answered the phone, the landlord called Kiko's mother, Masei. I really want to skip this. Can we just play the game? I get it. She died and we got to probably play as a detective and go in there and see what happened. Miss Kiko didn't respond to Masei's phone call. At Masei's request, the landlord used a duplicate key to open the door to Miss Kiko's room. The room was dark with no lights on. When the landlord turned on the flashlight she had brought with her, she found a woman, believed to be Kiko, lying between the kitchen and the living room. That's a real random spot to be, right in between the kitchen and the living room. Like, where was she going? The landlord called the police. The police officers who arrived at the scene revealed that the woman was actually Miss Kiko herself and that she had already died. So how long was she dead? Before the landlord found her, nobody knows. That's the, you know, the following photos, actual photos, whatever. They say actual photo. Is that like a real photo of somebody dead? The police launched an investigation. They, I know I said investigation. Shut up. They found that Kiko's body had no significant external injuries and that she had a tendency toward mental illness, based on her history of visits. To hospitals. I really want to play this game. Five minutes worth of dialogue. Can I play? As a result of the investigation, the police determined that the cause of death was heart failure due to stress, cardiomyopathy, and the time of death was early in the morning of the same day. They announced that there was a high possibility that she had fallen into a state of confusion due to mental illness and determined that there was no case. However, there are many suspicious points many suspicious points at the crime scene the family members of the deceased are questioning whether there was really no incident you know what i appreciate about this game as as boring as it is reading all this stuff it is known that the window was broken from the outside what i appreciate about it is they took time to actually spell it for this to be a japanese game they took time to actually spell the words right in all the dialogue i ain't find no mistakes so far i like that the police concluded that kiko in a delirious state broke the window herself from the outside if it was broke from the outside, how she broke it? How to how to police? This is what I mean by police sometimes don't be doing nothing. How you gonna conclude that or speculate that it was broke from the outside, but she broke it? 
So that must mean it's ghosts. You know what I'm saying? However, why would she go all the way out to the balcony, break the window, and then go back in? You feel me? It's demons. I don't know. It could be anything. There were no signs of disorder in the room other than the window. And although the window was made of glass, there were no noticeable injuries on Kiko's body as mentioned above. Man, this a real boring ass game. Kiko and her family received suspicious phone calls from midnight of the day before. See, you know what they should have did? They should have gave me as a player the option to skip this shit. Like all games, when they have like sections like this where it's just dialogue, they should allow the player to skip it. Cause who wanna deal with this slow typing? You could have made these long notes on the screen and just let me read it like that. I would have been fine with that. Despite the fact that this was during the time of day when there are generally few few phone calls, the number of incoming calls was remarkably large compared to Kiko's usual frequency of incoming calls. According to the call log, Kiko answers some of these incoming calls. The day before the incident, Masai, the victim's mother, received a phone call at her home from a woman named Chi Saganuma, who claimed to be a co-worker of Kiko's, saying that Kiko was absent from work without notice. Masai, she must have been playing with some demonic stuff. I wouldn't doubt it. I done played plenty of games with that. Masai called Kiko to confirm that she was at work as usual. It is noted that there's no one named Chi Saganuma in Miss Kiko's workplace. So what's that? Is somebody disguising themselves as another person? Because they murdered her? Or was it a dead girl? Kiko's statement before death. I'm telling y'all, trust me, this is a game. It's not just dialogue. You got to work with it. Before death, Kiko sometimes told her family members stories to the effect that she was being followed by strangers. A neighborhood security camera recorded Kiko heading towards her apartment the night before. Listen, if she was dealing with like mental illness and probably depression and stuff like that, paranoia, a little bit of all that, you know, maybe she had a demon after her. Maybe she had something in her apartment that she was messing with, maybe a video, maybe a phone call, maybe an email, and it, it sparked some kind of demonic presence in her life and it was messing with her and she said she was being followed. She thought she was being followed. She was, but the the, the average, what well, a human eye probably wouldn't see what she was seeing. As mentioned above, Kiko was diagnosed as having a tendency toward mental illness. Duh, why you gotta keep saying that? And the possibility that she was paranoid cannot be denied. I already said she probably had paranoia you know what I'm saying? What's that other word? Schizophrenia? Yeah, she was probably crazy as hell. You know? Videotape with unknown details. Dude, I want to play your game. It's going it's 10 minutes. This is the biggest mystery of the case. Can I experience it in the game? Oh, in December of the year following the incident, Masai, Kiko's mother found a letter. Say, hey, hey, you got a mistake. Found and a letter? Hey. It was apparent that inside was a smaller envelope. Oh my God. And in that smaller envelope, it was an even smaller envelope. And then another envelope. It's, it's, it's envelopeception, which contained an additional rectangular envelope. The small envelope had only one word written on it. I don't know what that means. It's Japanese for mother. Oh. Masei felt eerie and immediately reported the envelope to the police. I don't know why. The police officer, I mean, I'm saying like, I don't know why that envelope even a thing. The police officer in charge of the case informed her that the contents were video taken containing possible clues to Kiko's case. Do the police even want to deal with this? I man, 10 and a half minutes. Masay watched the video in the presence of a police officer on the same day. What you're about to see are the images recorded on the videotape. And it's probably gonna be me experiencing what was on the videotape. Like playing is that. Probably Kiko. My God, it took forever to get in this damn game. It run like poopy. You mean to tell me 10 and a half minutes for a damn 20 frames per second game? My God. I thought I heard a regenerator from RE4. I was like, wait a minute. Who told me that? No, 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 no. Oh, no. So she died over there. I mean, I like the way it looked. I probably stretched it out for y'all. Most likely I did stretch it out. Yeah, why wouldn't I stretch it out? I hate box games. Box games are some of the worst games. Not worse. They just, it's just box. It's like we at a point in time where even though I know VHS tapes was boxed back in the day, why are you making... That's a flashlight. Let me get it. Why are you making your games box these days? Modern games... Oh, no. I can look through the pee, -pee hole? Am I... You know? This actually... This actually a pretty dope setup. Real small... How much y'all think this will cost in New York? A million dollars a month? Hello? Wireless phone? Might as well have a cell phone. Nobody. 
There's no one there. It's almost as if there was no one there. Can I open this? Yep, sure can. Anybody there? Nope. Gotta be real uncomfortable being in this small apartment. I mean, it ain't too many places you can have strangers like you would see somebody here. So what is we, she even got a washing machine? Not bad, but where to dry at? How you dry your, how you dry your clothes, baby? It's a nice size bed for this small apartment. Not bad. Yeah, I think somebody sent her a videotape and she messed around and watched it. Or some kind of cursed object. She had a cursed object and she had, and she messed with it. And she ended up dying. That's what I think. That's what I think. What's going on? Where the scary stuff? <sighs> listen, listen, listen. If you're gonna be calling me, you need to be a thing, bruh. Huh? Hello? Anybody? Somebody? Nobody. Look, stop calling my phone if you're not gonna if you're not gonna say something. I uh man, that's like them spam calls I be getting. Like, why you gonna call me if you not how you zoom in through a peephole? But yeah, man, if you gonna call me, whoa, yeah, if you gonna call me, man, you better talk. We adults, don't be quiet and breathing and shit. Like, talk, talk to me. Tell me what you got on your mind. You calling me for a reason? I don't know what that is. It looked like some, maybe it's a cat or a dog. Oh snap! What if, what if I'm switching through perspectives of people? You know what I'm saying? What if who I was just playing as? is the stranger who threw something through her window her balcony window because they down there you know what i'm saying that's kind of crazy man i would hate to sit there and be messed with and, and and whatever they threw through the window was probably the damn cursed object that killed that girl because how how's she gonna randomly have a you know a heart attack but you know i do i wonder who it is you gonna finally speak Hello? Hey, this this be happening to me too. Like real talk, it be happening to me too. For sure. I be getting random calls from random numbers, unknown and you know, known and nobody talk. I'm starting to think maybe I'm being followed by the same person who Kiko was messing with, you know, or who was messing with Kiko. I forgot what I was about to say to y'all though. I was about to say something profound and amazing. Y'all, it was gonna probably blow your mind. Uh oh, ding dong? Yo, they trying to get in. Did y'all just see the door handle? Dude, they tried to, they tried to get in, bro. Oh boy. Hello. Yo, listen, I can hear the atmosphere on the other side. And then they hang up in my face. I hear the atmosphere in my ears, and they still don't want to talk. Man, you oh, that's what I was about to say. I hate games like this. I done played plenty of them on my channel. You know, the idea of constantly going back and forth in a small space, sometimes even a sometimes even a big space. So yeah, this is probably her apartment building. Yeah. I hate the idea of playing games like this with the whole back and forth thing, and it takes a while i'm gonna just say a while a while could be from two to like 30 minutes for some shit to happen you know what i'm saying i done played plenty of games like that and i just think to myself they they need to up the pacing for a game like this i get it you're trying to tell a story but especially knowing i was dealing with 10 and a half minutes of subtitle like dialogue you need to just go ahead and like 45 minutes of this 45 minutes of me walking through this hall this hall you know this hallway answering the phone nothing happening checking the door nothing happening somebody almost getting in here like where's the scary stuff i mean the situation itself is scary like imagine being you gonna try to get in nah they ain't try to get in this time what's that you can't expect me to go out there right oh bro 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 what was that I asked myself what that was like I ain't know it was an eyeball but I'm saying dude they just tried to get in who is that why is they messing with this girl it's clearly it I doubt it's supernatural I doubt it's supernatural I doubt I doubt it if somebody actively trying to get in her apartment to get to her 
Then who was that walking? Oh, let's see who on the phone this time. Uh oh, here we go. Oh yeah, they kind of they kind of speedy. They kind of a speedster. Yeah, Kiko, you might want to be careful, baby girl. Somebody about to get your buckets. They about to get your buckets. Yeah, they about to get your buckets. So is it this? It's got to be this way, right? Yeah, we're going to all oh, snap. This kind of scary. This is some scary shit. Imagine you don't know what's going on. Somebody's coming after you. Oh, my God, bro. I'd be scared. And I don't even know what apartment she at. Yeah, I really don't. I don't know what apartment she at. Clearly, I got to be going this way. But what apartment she is. She probably at the very top. And if she not, oh, this going to be a real long walk back downstairs. All right, so this is the highest point. She got to be over here. Oh, snap. 305, why? 305, why? But who is it? Who is it? And you know what I think, though? Everything, when they switch perspectives and I go to the person walking outside, that's happening before I'm playing this Kiko. Or maybe I'm BSing. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what the hell that was. It sounded like somebody was breathing. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, no. Flashlight. How they managed to turn power off? Is the whole building out of power? It can't just be me. Oh, snap. Oh, I might be dead, though. I might be dead, though. Whoa, I might be dead, though. I'll hide under the bed. I'll find some way to get my ass under that bed. I will literally find some way to get under that bed, dog. Oh, boy. Let's see who on the phone. How the power go out, but my phone's still working? What? Why you keep calling me? If you say so, bruv. Hey, I'm not lying to y'all. I would have left my apartment ASAP. Like, straight up. I would have been out of there. I would have I would have left my apartment. I'm not lying to y'all. I would have left my apartment. My apartment would have been vacated. I would have evacuated. Using word, When you use a word like evacuated, you know you mean business. I would have evacuated. I would have. What's the other word? Exfil. I would have been exfil. Like, straight up. Yep, all military terms. Not lying. I would have been gone. I would have been ghost, but not in a dead way. I would have been alive, but somewhere else. They would have thought I was dead. That's what I want them to believe. I'm dead, but I'm alive. Or maybe I got to go in the damn bathroom. I doubt it. I'm not going in that bathroom. You can keep that bathroom. That bathroom is spoopy. I'm checking the phone. Ain't nothing happening. I tried to click on the lights. Nothing happening. I went in the bathroom. It Well... <laughs> Let me correct myself. I went as far as I could in the bathroom and nothing happened. Maybe there is something in the bathroom I need. Anything in the bathroom? Oh, what was that? Oh, that was her window breaking. I forgot. You mean to tell me all I had to do was check the bathroom? Man, that's kind of BS, yo. And what's crazy? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Whoa, that made me kind of thank you for watching the video. That made me tense. I was like, oh, God, it made me like feel my soul. First of all, I must apologize for showing you the video. No, what you need to apologize for is for how long it took to get to that point. Too slow. I'm truly sorry. I mean, it wasn't nothing there. It was just a generic like figure running at me. I'll tell you the truth about this video. On the day Masse delivered the video to the police station, a total of eight people viewed the video, including police officers and members of Kiko's family. The following year, on September 12th, one of the police officers who viewed the video died of unknown causes. Yep, it's a videotape like I called it. I already knew it was like seven days, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody who watched the tape is cursed. 
the following year one more death occurred on september 12th and another one in the year then another one in the year you mean to tell me i gotta am i gonna have to watch video different video perspectives of all these people that died we had one hypothesis I, I can't wait to hear what kind of shit you pull out your hat one of the people who saw the video would die on september 12th go on i think we all want to know where this going what you all saw was a video with this background what the hell is they talking about many of you may be thinking we saw a game screen not a video or if we could control it as a game it wouldn't be a video i really don't know where you're going with that i can tell you in conclusion that we use the game as a medium to increase the number of people who saw oh they made a game so pretty much i'm cursed so what they did they took the video and made it into a video game to increase the number of people that watch watch the video i.e play the game which is the same thing so i'm cursed y'all if i die y'all know what time it is if y'all see this game by the time i die we figured that if one person would die among those who watched the vid this better not be a cursed game like for real it's some shit out there i know the more people who watch the video the lower the chance that i would be that one person oh so you selfish so we turned our attention to games this is because games can capture the interest of an unspecified Man, my ugh, unspecified number of people and encourage them to gaze at the screen. First, we split the original videotape into images that are too short to be recognized by the human eye. The split video images were then programmed to appear inter interminately on the game screen. So that whole, wait a minute, so this whole video wasn't really a video, it was just images put together? Or maybe it was a video, and I don't know. In other words, the viewer of this game screen has seen all of the real video footage without realizing it. So I'm dead, is what you're trying to say. I'm truly sorry for involving all of you. Oh, y'all y'all watched it too, so you dead. Now that we have seen the video, the only thing we can do is to increase the number of people who have watched the video as much as possible. The more people who watch the video, the less likely you are to be one. Oh yeah, I, I get how they, I, I see what they saying. So let's say you and you next in line. So let's say one of your friends gave you a video to watch cause they wanted to avoid being dead. It's like this one movie I watched my dad told me about. It's it's, it's a little older. It's, it's pretty much like this, this, this thing attaches itself to somebody. I don't know what it is. It's a skinwalker pretty much, you know what I'm saying? But it could disguise itself as anybody, but it don't talk and it walks slow. It always walk, it never run. But it's always going after somebody specific. But the only way you could get it off you is if you have sex with somebody else. You gotta have sex with somebody. So the number of people you have sex with, the less likely it is it's gonna come after you. But the problem is it's always going after somebody always you could be on the east side of town that thing could be on the west side at the far end and it'll find some way to get to you you know what i'm saying so no matter where you go the only thing you can really do is have sex so it's pretty much the same concept have you watch the video or you next in line just have a bunch of other people watch the video too it's simple i mean hey if they die you still probably gonna die but it's gonna take a while Please spread the word about this game, avoiding talking about its contents in order to encourage as many people as possible to watch this video. I want to read up on if anybody actually died playing this game. I know it's, it's just a game, but still. Posting videos of this game in action would also be a good way to get more people <laughs> like y'all. Y'all dead too. Y'all straight up dead. Again, I'm so sorry for the trouble I've caused you all. I hope you have a safe September December 12th. Actually, it's uh, December I think uh, ninth. So get it correct, Mister. You're a few months late. What was the point in that? Hey, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Let's just put it. Let's just put it down as a game itself. That shit was whack. That game was horrible. Cause it just it took too long for things to happen. Listen, the atmosphere was good. The atmosphere was real good. It was a real good atmosphere for a game. You being in a small apartment and you don't know what's going, and then you watching found footage. So you don't know what to expect. I like found footage movies. I love found footage horror movies. Some of the best horror movies out there. I encourage anybody who like horror movies, watch some horror, like found footage horror movies. They, they so dope. But that's essentially what this was. 
And, you know, when you go into it, you don't know what to expect, especially when they switch in perspectives and stuff. But that right there confused me. Because if it was just video footage from Kiko's perspective, then who the hell was that person outside? It was an anomaly. But why was it recording too? If it's only coming from Kiko, and how was she recording? You know what I'm saying? See, that's the kind of stuff they don't make sense of. If you're going to have a found footage kind of game, then you need to sit there and make sense of it. You feel me? Like, make it make sense. Was my, my character, was Kiko recording the whole time? Was it a body cam? Did she have a phone out? Like, was she being stalked by something for a while and, you know, or hearing noise? Well, they did say she was being followed, so maybe she started recording that night. But it was VHS, though. It was a VHS tape. So how was she recording that? That means somebody would have had, like, in the police department, would have had to program that into a VHS. And then it just, you know, it, it, it took, it was too slow. It took way too long for things to happen. I mean, I only been recording for 30 minutes, you know, it, it you know, and I understand they got to do it for pacing and, you know, atmosphere and stuff. But even with the, the 10 and a half minutes at the beginning that took to get through that dialogue, too much talking, get in the game. You could, like, I get it. They want to sit there and kind of brush up on what happened with this girl. But a lot of that stuff ain't need to be talked about. You know what I'm saying? I can understand mentioning she died of a heart attack. That's cool. But all that extra stuff about her mom and, you know, what was going on with the the, the envelope and the police, how they, they was saying how they was going to help and blah, blah, blah. And it's a possibility this and, oh, we got a theory this. All this nonsense and stuff like that. They could have cut a bunch of that stuff out and cut this game down to about 15 to 20 minutes. A lot of that stuff ain't need to be in this game. And then not only that, but the whole thing about walking back and forth in that apartment. Only thing that was happening was the phone ringing and then the door. It ain't make no sense. I get it. It was an anomaly. It's something. It's some demonic presence or some kind of supernatural thing that's messing with this girl. That's cool and all. But why is it constantly calling the phone and not saying nothing? Just static. Why did the only time we checked at the door, it was an eyeball. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we checked a few times at the door, but that one time it was an eyeball. And, and it was it was something there, like a note or something like that, but they ain't even let me read it. And then I wish they would have had this game running 60 frames. You already got it boxed. Like, some, some people be trying to take these, like, VHS games to a whole, like, you know, they be trying to make them real VHS-y. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make them 30 or 20 frames. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make them boxed. Stop limiting your games just because of the theme you're going for, the VHS theme. I done played plenty of VHS-style games or, like, PS1-style games on my channel that was widescreen, and it worked. Just because you playing a game at 20 or 30 frames and you got it boxed don't mean nothing. You could play a game at 60 frames and have it full screen, like, widescreen, and still get that same effect as a VHS game or movie. And then I'm going to say it again. Too much typing. Way too much typing. Give people the option in your future games to skip that stuff. Who want to keep watching that? Who want to keep reading this stuff? It was cool and all for a little bit, but it get old. I just be wanting to play these games. You know what I'm saying? It did scare me. Good on you for scaring me. You know what I'm saying? You, you scared me when the thing ran through the, 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 the opening. That scared me. But you could have did so much better with that. It was just a black figure. It was just like some shadow thing. You know what I'm saying? You could have gave it some body. You could have gave it a figure. You could have you could have made it a damn scary girl. You know what I'm saying? You could have made it anything. Some demonic would have faith. That would have been a better ending. You know what I'm saying? You should have had it break the glass. That's cool. But what it should have been was something in the hallway, some kind of some kind of cursed object. You know what I'm saying? Relating to Kiko. Something that she only knew what was and nobody else knew it. It's found footage. You should have went that far. Have some kind of cursed object on the ground. That's what came through the glass. And then we pick it up or we just look at it. And then we go to check the glass, which ain't make sense because the blinds was open. You know what I'm saying? If it's just broke glass, the blinds should have still been closed or whatever. But yeah, skip that. Blinds open, glass broke. We go to check it and then something just run at us. But as soon as it get to us, the VHS freeze on its face. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a still photo of what killed that girl. Real blurry because it hit the camera and it's shaking and stuff. But you get just enough of an idea to know that it was something demonic. That's what they should have did. I'm just saying. Listen, I don't make games, but I be having some good ideas. So in the meantime, that was it for this game. I didn't like it. It scared me once, but I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? It was too long for what it was doing. But in the meantime, that's it. Hope y'all had a good time. If you want to try it, I'll drop a link for it. And too long of a title. It's like, damn, you could have cut that in half.
But yeah, that's it. Try the game yourself. If y'all want to see more horror games, I'll drop a link for a playlist. And thanks for watching.